Hey, hello everyone. Uh, this is a small video in which uh, I would demonstrate the latest features or updates that have been added to the options desk in gocharting.com. So uh, let's jump into the options desk platform. Uh, so as you know, we can go directly from the gocharting website. This is the uh, page that would open up depending on your uh, default app profile that you have set in. So uh, let's start with uh, what are the new features that have been set, I mean, that have been brought in as far as the strategy builder is concerned. In uh, terms or uh, with regards to the uh, UI part, uh, we have uh, various other forums where we have uh, actually told what is the what are the improvements that have come in. So in this part, I would uh, more dwell on the uh, features or the updates that have come at the strategy level. So uh, let's start with the option chain of Nifty. Okay. So as you know, uh, you can see all the options on the tab above, and it's it's a purely uh, custom. This is all purely customizable. So it, it's very very. Uh, I mean user friendly in that way and uh, you can simply for example I want to see of the payoff chart I can go drag and select the area where I want to uh, watch it I can expand I can contract and so on similarly I can go ahead and put the price chart here and see the price chart on the right side or wherever I want and up and down so right now as you can see I do not have any strategy uh, either in the paper or in the real uh, so what I would do is I will demonstrate a simple strategy explain it and then uh, explain what are the new features that we've added over here so uh, I'll, I'll try and take a simple straddle as of now a 16300 straddle so what 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 that is is nothing that I sell uh, a put at this I mean at the at ATM strike and a call at the ATM strike so uh, let's go ahead and sell let's say 10 lots of nifty at 16,300 similarly let's sell 16,300 call 10 lots okay now you can see the payoff diagram that's coming now uh, on the top of the panel where you see the arrow you can see the break even points the premium that you're going to receive uh, because of taking a straddle and uh, the maximum profit is again in a credit spread purely credit spread it's going to be the entire of the premium that you receive okay so now we have uh, over here uh, the Greeks in terms of decimal as well as rupees. So if I want to change it to decimal, I can see change it like this. If I want to change it to rupees, I can change it like this. Okay. And uh, the what if analysis is the same. We press this and we get uh, this square box that is here. You now even get a square box on the payoff chart that moves with the whole while hovering on the price of the underlying so I'll just expand this further to explain and it becomes more visual okay so the yellow dot that you see is the price uh, of the spread that you've taken on the date you have taken the spread so like for example today I've taken the spread so you can see in the square box it's written on target date so it's it's a, it's the date when I took the position okay so for example today I've taken this position right now so it's it's going to show me the PNL uh, for for uh, for the day I took the trade what if is the PNL at the time uh, where I want to either analyze uh, a f it's it's a basically a future project projection of the PNL uh, depending on the various uh, factors like time decay volatility and the underlying that we have here okay and on expiry is as uh, it's self-explanatory on expiry what if the underlying uh, or the spot price is here 
this is what uh, I will get. It's it's about twenty four thousand. Even though the price moves against me by this much money, I still make money because it's it's a straddle that I'm working on. And similarly, if I go right at the top and it expires at sixteen two fifty, where my uh, I mean, the premium or the profit would be say eighty five, eighty one thousand. Now, to better explain this, let me go ahead and change the number of days to say three. Okay, and uh, the maximum is five again because five days are left to expire for Thursday. So let's assume on Wednesday, what would uh, be the situation? Okay, now the light blue dot that you see and the light blue line that you see, okay, on the payoff chart. Is the uh, PNL or rather the what if PNL on the day that I have selected here, depending on the factors here? So, if on uh, Wednesday the underlying remains at the same cost or the same price, I am going to receive forty six thousand. If I square off my position at the same time on Wednesday, I'll receive this much money. Okay, the same thing you can see right over here on the green. Okay, the projected PNL. So if you change this, you can have a look at the projected PNL that is changing. Okay, so with the underlying remaining the same, you can see the various uh, the profit or the loss you make. Okay, so in a credit spread, you will generally generally end up making more money if there is no movement in the underlying. Okay, unless you change the volatility. Of course, if this increases, you can see the changes that are happening over there, as you see on top. So We'll set it back. You can reset it by pressing this refresh button, and it will go back to where it was. And similarly, what if the price moves ahead to sixteen? I mean, three seventy-three. So the PNL that I would get on Wednesday day would be thirty-six thousand. Of course, on expiry, I get forty-eight thousand, as you can see in the small square box on the payoff chart. So this is how uh, this new feature works: the hover over square box and these three dots okay so you can change anything if you want to change the underlying you can change that and so on okay now let's jump into the more interesting part that would be really really helpful uh, while you're trading so now you can rename these strategies as you want when you want okay even when you are in the trade or the paper trade has been set up and it's already executed it doesn't matter you can change the uh, name of this strategy at any point in time so what do you have to do i just have to click this i'll call it straddle for 12th august okay and nifty and apply okay now uh some of us do want uh, to take a trade while we are squaring off the straddle on any given day. For example, I decide to get on out on Wednesday, and I want to take a trade on the same day, uh, maybe for the same uh, price or maybe a little up and down and so. So what do I do for that? I just copy this code, okay? Go to a custom strategy. I just paste this code and this is what will come okay so for the next expiry what do i have to do i just have to change this t0 to t1 on both the call and the put side okay and i name this straddle for 19th august okay now one more thing that is really really interesting here is it is not that i have Copy this code from here for the fifteen three hundred strike. This is going to be fifteen hundred. This is a straddle that has been based on uh, the underlying price at that point in time. What I mean by that is, if you see the X over here, so if, for example, the underlying or the Nifty spot moves by a hundred points to the downside, okay, then this straddle. would not be set up at 15300 but would be set up at 15200 okay similarly if it was to uh, reach 1500 by the time i want to execute this uh, trade uh, not 1500 sorry 15000 then the straddle would be placed at 15100 so you see this x minus 1 and x1 it's nothing but one strike away okay 
so the call side is one strike away that is uh, towards the uh, sorry the put strike is one strike away and the call strike is one strike inwards so it's calculated like that so if i add this i just get a straddle of 19th august okay and uh, if you go in here and you see the expiry days are 11 days so it is for the next expiry so why did i do this on paper now if uh, this is uh, if you are in a real trade okay uh, so i would like to square off this on one particular day and i want to take this trade uh, at the same time i can just go ahead and trade this mark uh, this spread at market order okay so this is a basket trade that gets executed uh, right away uh, when i want so i have it ready all there and if if there is something that you need to change you can obviously go ahead and change and make a new uh, i mean um, uh, straddle with the new strike price or whatever you want okay so you can even change the strike price here so i i do not like this and i say no 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 i would like it to be this time i don't want to be a little away i want to be really uh, in the money for put or in the money for call whatever you like and you can go ahead and edit this you can go ahead and edit this okay and whatever so this is your new straddle okay for the next week expiry depending on the day and you straight away go here and execute it by pressing this trade button so this is how convenient it becomes now there are times uh, that you want to square off a position and uh, of course we now have the square of position here but what if i i could uh, i mean do it from here as well so what do i do i simply copy here go to the custom strategy do the same thing paste the whole thing here okay and write square of straddle of 12th august okay and now what I see minus here, I have to put a plus here because I'm going to square off. So it's going to be a reverse position. Okay. And I say plus over here and I add this. Okay. So I have, you can again cross check and whatever you want, you want to change this. Everything is possible. Now, I don't want to, I don't have to worry uh, about uh, anything. As in, when I want to square off, I just go ahead and press this trade. I go ahead and confirm and everything gets placed uh, at market and I just move out of the position similarly if you want to add hedges you can do the same thing okay you can just go ahead and add maybe uh, for a straddle to hedge it maybe a, maybe you can buy a put on this side and a call on this side and name it hedge I, I let me show you uh, so that it becomes more easy for explanation so I, now let's say i want to add a hedge on the call side okay on the put side rather so i go here and add to strategy builder and i say buy and i say 10 lots okay and uh, this is a there is no paper here so this is going to be a new strategy okay add and similarly i go ahead and a hedge add add a hedge on the call side at 600 say so this is the call i add a hedge here and i say buy and I add 10 here okay and now I go to the strategy builder here and I see a paper trade here and I go and check so this is nothing but a hedge okay so similarly you can add even one hedge for example the put or the call and now you what do I do I go here and I change it to hedge for the 12th August straddle okay and click apply so that is how useful this becomes and I can keep doing this now there are times when I want to square off half the position so what do I do I simply take this square off copy this create a custom strategy paste this and instead of 10 I put 5 okay so this is squaring off half my position and what do I name it square off half straddle 12th August okay and now you go there you go so now you, if I want to only square of half I 
press the trade button and all all orders are executed at market so this is how convenient and easy it's become and you can literally go ahead and do whatever you want and have them all here and just execute them uh, whenever you want so finally it is in the end it is uh, how convenient and how easy it is uh, to take care of the positions uh, when panic sets in the market so uh, you should be able to do it in the blink of an eye all this so this is why all this has been put in and it's really really convenient one last thing that i would want to uh, point out which has happened a lot over the past few days with uh, some of the traders is uh, the order type that gets executed so in case you want uh, the order type to be set as default for margin or intraday you just have to go to this select any uh, strike and press the buy you don't have to actually execute the order go here select the terminal as flyers as uh, Uh, this platform allows trading directly into the flyers platform and choose whatever you want intraday or margin that is cnc that is an overnight position and set it as default okay you see this blue uh, tag that pops up so it's set as default now all your orders that you place and then you can just shut it go back place go charting again shut it and all the orders you place now would be uh intraday orders they'll not be margin orders so if you want to change that again you can do that again by going uh, to the buy sell panel trading panel and choosing margin as your default okay so uh, uh with that uh, i am done there is another small feature that i would i like to say it's already been there but you can there's a trading panel here small trading panel that pops up for any spari that you can go and keep adding this comes in handy uh, for while taking the real positions more so because you might be in panic and you are in a loss and you want to hedge uh, i mean add a hedge immediately so you can just go here and right away trade from here so that is the use of uh, the small pop up panel that we have here with all the strike prices and the op small option chain that we have there okay so with that i i am uh, done so hope this video would have, would be of uh, some help to you uh, until next time uh, see you guys